Good morning, everybody. It's early Friday morning. I'm going to make some banana bread for my breakfast. I think that will be something special and different and a nice little treat. I'm up early because I have an appointment at 8.30 to take my car in to have a mechanic check it out today and see if it can be repaired and how much it's going to cost. So um, this is just a, a banana bread recipe that I got off of YouTube. I don't even know whose channel it was from. My Fiesta banana bread recipe, I think it's it's on YouTube somewhere. <laughs> it's been a long time since I made it, but I've actually lost my recipe since then. But this is quick and easy. I'm just going to do it all in one bowl. I'm not going to do the, the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients and all of that. I'm just... Like I said, it's a quick and easy banana bread. So it calls for two bananas, but I have three that are overripe, so I might as well use all three. I think I will mash the bananas with my potato masher. That will be a good tool to use. Oh, I just felt like, <laughs> this morning I felt like I just can't eat another piece of bacon or sausage or another egg. I want something sweet and nutritious and delicious. And I have some dates that were sent in a package to me from Miss Arnetta. They're organic. And I have a bag of walnuts. These actually came in a, a bag of um pantry food that I got from the, the pantry. I'm going to have to open them and taste of them and make sure they're not right. Sometimes that food is a little bit on the stale side. I was watching Alicia Dougherty, Dougherty make banana bread the other morning for her kids for breakfast. She made three loaves. You know, she whipped up that banana bread in about five minutes. I tell you, she is as fast as a New York minute. I wish I could work as fast as she does, but I can't. Okay, so the bananas, two eggs. Then it says to blend that together. She just cracked her eggs so fast and got the shells in, the, in there and just reached in there and got them out and just didn't even miss a beat. I said, I think she cooked two pounds of bacon. She cooks that in the oven while she's preparing everything else. And it does make a lot of smoke, so I haven't tried it yet because once my smoke alarm goes off, it's very difficult. Mine has never gone off, but my neighbor's has, and I've had to go down there and help him get his off because once it... It's a commercial smoke alarm, so once it goes off, it's very difficult to get it to stop. Okay, so that's um, three bananas, two eggs, a cup of milk. One half cup of oil. It's another thing I like about this recipe. It doesn't call for any butter. A teaspoon of vanilla. and a cup of sugar. And I am using my Domino sugar. <laughs> Y'all are so funny. That came in my SD card from Mr. Will. He remembered in one of my videos, one of the stories that I told when I was a nanny for Dr. Searboard's kids, we had run out of some things. And I have some sour cream, so I'm just going to put in a spoonful of that. It's not going to hurt anything. When I was a nanny, we needed um, a few things from the grocery store, so the mother was going to make some cookies or something, and we needed sugar, so... 
the children's mother told me to buy Domino sugar because it's sweeter. <laughs> so every time I get an Instacart delivery from one of y'all, it's always got Domino sugar in it. Okay, next we have two and a half cups of flour. Anyway, when Alicia was making it, she got the measurements. She was saying she was measuring the baking soda when she actually grabbed the baking powder. <laughs> and they were different measurements, but it didn't matter. It, her bread just still came out looking delicious. So two and a half cups. A teaspoon and a half of baking powder. And then one teaspoon soda. Teaspoon of salt. Okay, I'll blend this. Then we'll add the walnuts and dates. Okay, these are California walnuts, and the use by date is January the 31st of 2024. Y'all always test the few nuts before you put them in your recipe because one time Jill bought a bag of nuts from Lidl. Yeah, that tastes good. She went to all the trouble to make a southern pecan pie. And when we went to taste of it, all the nuts were blank. She had to throw away the entire pie. Made us so mad. I'm not going to measure these. I'm just going to break up a few and throw them in here with some dates. Okay, I just took a bite of the date. It's really delicious. I will cut these up. This is going to help sweeten it too. Mm -hmm. These are good. Thank you, Arnetta. <laughs> these are so good. Y'all, I made a video the other day. I went shopping at CVS. I actually just wanted to show y'all the um, the Easter candy and stuff. Uh-oh. One of them landed on the floor. So I videotaped in there, and I told you a story about Ife and her hair being braided, and I showed a picture of her braids and came home and edited it. I must have spent three hours making that video, editing it, and I knew it had a song by Ed Sheeran in it, but YouTube has been really good about, or the um, music labels have been good about letting us share the income with them. Oh, so I went through all of that trouble and uploaded it, and Every bit of every bit of the music in there was copyrighted. They would not let me share it at all. So I did not upload it. I just deleted it. I'm not going to publish something that somebody else has to copyright on. Okay, let me blend this together. I got to spray my pan. We'll get it in the oven. Just want to make sure I have enough nuts in here. We'll get a nut in every bite. I think I'll put just a few more. This is a lot of batter, guys. <laughs> oh, I know it's going to be too much for this pan. up some because I did put the baking powder in it. Maybe that's too much. I better take out some. That'll 
filament going way over the sides. Okay, so let me bake it for an hour and I will be back. Okay, I got me a big old tall glass of milk. It's been in the freezer. Let me go ahead and give this a taste. Mm -mm. My apartment smells so good. I cut me a big old chunk, didn't I? That won't even last three days. I'll be eat every crumb of it. <laughs> it's good, but it's not. It's not sweet enough. Hmm. I should have added a little bit more sugar. Let me see. Let me get a piece with the date in it. I think the date will sweeten it. Doesn't need to be overly sweet with sugar anyway. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's really sweet when I get a bite of that date. Okay.